Howdy, 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 my beautiful Libra. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Libra, for August 2022. All right, darling? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, let me know in the comments below how this reading resonates with you. That's always how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments, Libra. And today, darling, we're going to get into three rows for you, Libra. Your first row, we're going to be tapping into the person that is currently on your mind right now. All right. This could be romantic or platonic, darling. It's just someone that is on your mind, right, Libra? Your second row, we're going to be talking about uh, what you need to hear right now, Libra. All right. It's um, one of our messages. Your spiritual team uh, feels like you need to hear today. And then in your third row, Libra, we're going to just get into some just general tarot predictions for you, darling. All right. To see what if you continue down the path that you have been going down, what you can be expecting to happen for you. All right, darling. But Libra, to start out this energy here for you, you have the tower energy. All right. Now, I actually really like the tower energy in this deck, Libra, and I'm going to explain to you why. And I promise you by the end of this, you'll like it as well for this. The tower energy for you, I feel like you guys are making a major breakthrough. Uh, for yourselves, Libra. I feel like you guys, I keep on hearing decision. I feel like perhaps some of you guys have made the decision, Libra, to uh, really break the chain, break the pattern, break some type of, you know, some of you, some of you guys, it's something generational. For others of you, Libra, it's the sense of like a self-sabotaging behavior that I feel. And I feel for you personally, all right, this is intuitive at this point, Libra, but I feel, darling, that your path by making these decisions is going to align your path with someone that you would align with with your soul family right your soul tribe so other people say like soulmates twin flames darling i don't like to use those words I feel like they're overused and watered down. The reason why I say this is because this tower energy for you, if you look upside down for this deck in specific, while normally it's just all the chaos, right? You just see it's just, you know, it's the usual. You're like nothing special, really, Velka, right? But when you have it upside down, darling Libra, right, you see two people coming together here. And so for many of you guys in a social dynamic, you're breaking down the walls with some type of relationship in your life. All right. Maybe there's been some complications or lack of communication. I feel like you're breaking boundaries with those people and progressing in a positive way. Career-wise, project-wise, I just see you guys breaking down the blockages, breaking down the dams that have been holding you back. So let's start getting into these uh, rows now, Libra. Let's start taking a look on what uh, the person on your mind today, Libra. All right. So you have this Emperor, Three of Swords, and Seven of Pentacles coming in here for you. Keeping in mind, again, with that... Uh, that tower energy influencing the spread here libra all right in fact i'm even gonna hold it so you can keep note of it all right i feel like for you here libra you have been trying to invest energy into a situation into a person here i feel like for you you're on this verge of just giving up with them here because it's like you see the potential in them and it's this sense libra it's like if only they could see the situation through your eyes i feel like this frustration of like you see but the potential in what could happen if you guys were to grow together libra if you were to work on something together whether that's a project whether that's just the relationship between the two of you guys you could be really wonderful friends lovers whatever the case is for you but then there's that three of swords energy and then that emperor energy as well either you or the person around you doesn't want to emit this energy here it could be you libra in the sense of where you need to uh, match this emperor energy and take a stand when it comes to this situation and speak your truth about it speak about what needs to change if anything all right i feel like there's this sense of needing to acknowledge why it is you are feeling the way that you are feeling as well i feel like there's an, it's like important to have a conversation for you libra about certain relationships in your life that you have developed put time into but right now i feel like it's bringing it's displeasing you it's discrediting you as this emperor i feel like you're not being treated in the way that you feel like you deserve to be treated you even have the three cards just coming out <laughs> for you libra you have the world five of swords and then the, and then this eight of cups energy stepping in here libra all right definitely this sense of just like you feel as if this person could do more for you in the sense of being like you could be a better friend you could be a better family member here all right 
I really get with this sense here, you're being pushed away. Like you feel as if you're being pushed away. I get feel as if for you, Libra, you're starting to detach yourself from this person here because you're just like, you know what? Like every step of the way, it's just like you, they're finding some way possible to sabotage this, to bring complications. I feel like for many of you Libras, you're accepting a relationship has reached its ending. The world card coming in here. All right, so this is the ending of uh, the Major Arcana story. So it's the ending of one story to begin the new fool's journey for you. So the boundaries that are being broken for many of you Libras come in the sense of stopping the pattern with some relationship in your life. And for some of you guys, stopping a relationship that's been not progressing in the way that you would like it to progress, Libra. All right. So I see with this tower energy, though, just again, I want to make note of this, that it's like with that tower energy bringing forth like influencing this situation's energy here uh libra it's essential either it brings makes you two closer together libra by the end of this or it gets you into alignment with the people that are meant to be part of your soul tribe all right either way you still end up being the one that wins in this situation libra all right so i feel as if for you guys you're doing pretty good all right so now libra let's get a uh, situation on what you need to hear at this time don't mind me darling i'm taking a timestamp note so i can put it up the timestamps in the description later libra so what you need to hear at this time you have the devil ace of cups and four of cups coming in for you all right what you need to hear at this time with that tower energy influencing this as well I see what you need to hear at this time, Libra, is you need to stop messing with the dogs, darling. Stop messing with the dogs. Stop messing with the hoes. I'm going to just be very blunt here, all right? I feel like for you, Libra, I feel like there's this sense of frustration of not being able to fit in to certain groups, not being able to connect with certain people here. Frustration with just... Uh, I feel like just frustrations in general, just wondering, it's just like, why are you not experiencing the progression that you would like to progress, like ideally progress with? And I feel like for you, Libra, especially in a social way, stop messing with the dogs, darling, because you got much higher uh, quality energy coming to you, but you got to make space for it in, in a project type of way here. I feel like you guys, Libra, need to really start delving deeper uh, with yourself i know that sounds a little bit corny libra but i feel it's like i feel like there's something that you could do that you haven't considered because of like a personal boundary like a personal insecurity imposter syndrome perhaps i don't know i give i get like this sense libra of holding yourself back because of like some some like voice in your head that if it didn't exist libra you would really be able to just open up right let's just say for example like you're feeling down in the dumps about your clothes you don't like your clothes and because you don't like your clothes you don't put yourself out there you don't do all these things but if you were to just remove that like oh my gosh libra you would be able to conquer the world you would be able to do so like i just see you doing so many things without that devil's presence ten of swords here king of pentacles Hermit energy, and then even in the back of the deck, Libra, this has been popping out for you quite a bit recently, this Aquarian energy, all right? That star energy coming in for you here, all right? Some of you Libras need to just get back into alignment with your purpose, all right? Hermit, <laughs> Ten of Swords, King of Pentacles here. I see for many of you guys, Libra, what you need to hear at this time, the best for very specific Libras, the best revenge is being about your craft and building up success here that's how you get the uh that's how you get the best revenge for others of you libra you're trying to find a way to move on from a situation to get closure and i still see the way that you get closure darling Ooh, that lighting looks gorgeous by the way come on now um i still see for you libra how you break a pattern how you break what's been go like that internal struggle that weight that's been holding you down how you break it is through that exuding that king of pentacles energy building something for yourself starting a project and it's like that sense of being so busy with creating your own success in whatever way that success looks like for you that everything from the past becomes irrelevant that's how you heal libra you heal by uh bringing success to you it's a lot easier to heal when you're crying in a lamborghini right 
The number five is coming out for you this week, Libra. So write down that number to see what uh, that message that brings for you this week in numerology. Spirit of the River, movement towards adventure. All right, Libra, I do see for you guys uh, some type of move coming in for you. I don't see it right now immediately, but I want like I want to make this promise. I want some of you Libras to put a tab on this video in specific because I'm willing to bet I hear six. I keep on being shown six to eight. I'm willing to bet some type of move is going to be happening in your life. Like you're not going to be in the same living situation or like you're going to just be going on vacation somewhere where it's just like major. But I see a move destined for you here. All right. I see a move destined for you. There's a reason as to why spirit seems to be pushing this narrative of just like being telling you Libra. She's like, yeah, the best revenge, darling, be about your success, working on yourself, building, right? All that because it seems like spirit has like an adventure planned for you if you were to lean into that energy libra all right so let's get a moon oracle card here as well darling first quarter moon in aries you could have aries in your chart libra or dealing with an aries stepping into your power all right this is essentially what i was already saying beforehand libra right in different words stepping into your power here getting back into alignment with your soul's purpose libra all right, I feel like the more that you step into your power, the more movement that you create for yourself here. For many of you Libras, again, like you have like this desire to move, you have this desire to do a big change in your life here, by you just leaning into your power, by you finally just getting rid of that devil energy, right? That inner voice that's been holding you back, Libra, that's where the adventure is, right? That's where the adventure is. That's where the power comes in. Oh, nope, we don't want that deck. We want this deck, Libra. All right, one last oracle card before we get into your predictions for today, Libra. Wishing upon a star, darling. What did I just say beforehand, Libra? Did I not just say that the star energy has been popping out for y'all? And of course, I can't find it anymore. Oh, yeah, it's in the back of the deck here. Yeah, the star energy has just consistently been popping out, Libra. I would even just go as far as to say, darling, you might be... Uh, getting some aquarius influence in your life here be paying attention to anyone that might exude some aquarian energy all right both of these cards like the star energy just on its own represents a wish being granted for you when you wish upon a star that wish being granted for you getting back into alignment with your soul's purpose libra once you remember what it is that you're put onto this path put onto this planet for darling that's when the wishes are going to start happening for you a lot of the a lot of the resistances that you're dealing with right now libra is because and stuff that isn't serving you all right you're gonna your path is gonna get your uh realign itself back with your purpose again here and that's where the traction is gonna come in that's what's gonna motivate you and really inspire for many of you libras i see um of further creation for yourself and that's why spirit was pushing that hermit energy on you on you predictions now darling all right ten of pentacles the wheel of fortune with the knight of wands here i see for you libras Continuing down the path that you are on right now, I see for many of you guys leading with a lot of passion. I see a lot of fulfillment. I see adventure for you, Libras, here. I see you guys really noticing how the more that you personally open up, Libra, the world opens up for you. It's like you start really experiencing a lot of fortune in your life when you are personally feeling fortunate, right? So start practicing gratitude. Start figuring out ways to raise up your just general mood each day, Libra. Some of you guys have been having problems with just getting up in the morning, uh, Libra, and just getting the ball going. All right, I see. And I feel like if you just start working on like your daily routine, Libra, all right, that's where you're going to see a lot of success. All right. I see for many of you guys, a major financial gain, major career advancement for you. But there does need to be the sense of consistency or the sense of routine, whatever you need to do, Libra, to keep the energies just elevated essentially here. All right. I feel very optimistic about where your path is taking you here. I feel like you got off track for a little bit there, Libra, but it seems to be, I mean, especially with the star energy that just keeps coming out for you, Libra, in every type of way possible. I feel like this is just, yeah, things are going to be pretty powerful for you, darling. All right, Libra. So that's the tarot reading that I have for you today, Libra. If you enjoy this reading, give this video a like and subscribe. Comment down below. If you want to book a reading with me, simply Velka dot com uh libra be sure to follow me on my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all just being simply velka same as here and i'll connect with you at a later point in time libra 
Bye, darling.